Donald Trump thrives on and insists on loyalty from his people. That said, he doesn't offer the same in return. He's not loyal to anybody. But anytime you do something like this and Donald Trump drags you down into this fucking corrupt pit, at some point people have to make the decision. Do I stick with Donnie or do I save my ass? There's a guy by the name of Cash Patel. He is Donald Trump's buddy, and Donald Trump put him in charge of handling all the documents and the National Archives right after he stole all those documents. And, of course, Donald Trump dicked around with it and dicked around with it, and we know that he broke many laws. Then Donald Trump came out and said, well, I declassified all of it. And Cash Patel came out and says, yeah, I saw it, <laughs> which he didn't because, of course, there was nothing that was declassified. It was all a lie, and Cash Patel was in on the lie. He was being loyal to Donald Trump. Well, the DOJ brought him in and questioned him, and he pled the fifth for every question asked, and it was determined that he could get away with pleading the fifth in certain circumstances. So then the DOJ had to make a decision. Do we just let it go or do we give him immunity and let him speak out against Donald Trump? This clearly shows that the DOJ is laser focused on Donald Trump, which is good to hear. And Cash Patel is kind of collateral damage. He may have gotten uh, convicted of a small crime, but the big crime with Donald Trump is really what's important. So apparently, in spite of all the loyalty that Cash Patel had for Donald Trump, he says, oh yeah, I'll talk for immunity. So this has to have Donald Trump shitting his fucking pants. Somebody on the inside, somebody very close is going to say exactly what happened. Were these declassified? Well, fuck no, they weren't declassified. What was Donald Trump's attitude about this? Did he know it was wrong? Well, of course he knew it was wrong. Donald Trump has a lot of evidence mounting against him, but now his own people are turning on him. This is the start of the end for Donald Trump. Everybody wonders, is he going to get indicted? Yes, of course he's going to get indicted. He might get three or four indictments, but on these top secret documents, I'm almost certain he's going to be indicted. But when? Well, after the midterms. Of course, Merrick Garland doesn't want to be accused of trying to affect the midterm elections. I think that's a little short-sighted, but that's how he thinks. After the midterms, the shit's going to fall, and the indictments are going to come. <laughs>